Hi Gemini, how are you? If you're new, hi, welcome, my name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. And please keep in mind the rules of universe between you and your person and these are all general readings. So of course, not everything is going to be exactly the same for everybody. So keep that in mind as well. And without further ado, let's dive in. Let's see what the universe has for you. So Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. We got strength, uh, Leo energy. We got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. We got Aquarius, Taurus. We got um, Virgo energy and Leo as well. We got the Page of Wands. I get Fire. We got Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. We got the Tower, Scorpio energy. We have the Six of Wands. I get Fire once again. We got the Eight of Wands in reverse. Fire again and overall energy. Please and thank you. We got the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, and or Scorpio. And at the bottom, we got the Nine of Pentacles, which is Earth, which is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Oh, boy. They're telling me that you be, need to be ready and strong enough because there's a change that you were not expecting. There's a turn that you were not expecting. Things are moving a total different way. Uh, you were not expecting the situation to go this far. You were not expecting the situation to go the way it's going. But something, uh, somebody or something that you thought it was completely over and it was going in this direction that was like completely done, move forward, like, oh, it's done, it's done, it's done, it's coming back again. This comeback from this specific person is not something that you are going to be ready for and or um, maybe excited for because it seems to be that this person brings a lot of anxiety and problems to your life it's quite toxic um this is not the moving forward that you were expecting and this person's coming in like like a sergeant offering you their heart and it's like straightforward they know what they want and it's like they have a target and it's like to get you back um with the nine of pentacles in the reverse uh you could actually be already meeting somebody new or at the time or you're already putting yourself out there you're like in your head you're like moving forward but look at that the devil is coming back the temptation is coming back and you are not seeing that coming you are not seeing you didn't see this coming once again capricorn energy so this person that you thought you were not going to see ever again is coming in and it's like not bad news but it's like be ready because whatever it is that tempts you about this person it's not going to be hard to resist it's not going to be easy to resist i should say and it's going to be hard to resist why is this person coming back now what do they want why are they coming back now 10 9 at once so they didn't like how things ended um they didn't like that they hurt you they don't like the fact that because we got the i see 999 they didn't they have the nine of wands the nine of pentacles of reverse and the queen of wands in the reverse they didn't like how things ended they didn't like what they did they didn't like that they hurt you and they don't like that you are getting yourself out there and that there's people hitting on you like jealous there's jealousy here uh with the queen of wands right here in the reverse they um don't want you to be with anybody else and they want you back it's like they're in love with you and like they go like no 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 i cannot lose gemini i have to get them back With the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let's see what else. With the Nine of Swords. So walking away from you, letting you go, and causing the pain that they caused has opened their eyes, unfortunately. Why? Because now they see you as the person that they want. They are regretting treating you the way they've treated you, and they're going like, hey, hey, I'm regretting walking away. Like, look at the gem that I had, and now I walked away from it. And it's like they just realize how good they had it with you and they realize your worth and they realize that you were the one for them you know and it happens like a little bit too late for some of you but that is the situation now they're heartbroken now they missed you now they're sorry now they like can live without you and they don't want you to find somebody else period with the six of cups right here this is an ex somebody from the past if you needed any confirmation this seems to be around summertime they're bringing you roses by the way the six of pentacles right here um they're coming back in desperately offering you everything you want i see number six 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 as well and 66 as well so they're coming in with uh everything they have to offer you it's like a desperate kind of move and it like giving you everything they have anything you ask they probably will say yes because they're in this mind of like i cannot lose you gemini like i need you back they're stuck on you they're just i don't know 
involved in you like they love they're in love with you but at the same time they're like a little bit of obs obsession here they yeah if they cheated on you or so four of cups right here or they left you for somebody else they make a big mistake they make a huge mistake and we all knew that until we all, we all knew that but they didn't until now they realize like hey my gosh i make a huge mistake this person that i chose was not the person for me i had gemini and i walk away from it so now they realize that you were the person you were the cup that they should have taken with the page of pentacles expect text message expect communication with them page of pentacles there is a visitor coming in unexpected visitor on earth sign with a start right here because now you are everything they wanted they realize that you are the star you are everything they wanted you are the light for their path you are the only one you are the moon in the sky and the, in the sky of course energy thank you spirit judgment day uh a lot of people have been getting a, a lot of the judgment day karma this was we all knew this was going to happen because we all knew this was going to happen and this has been predicted before so judgment day is coming be ready for the hardest time of your life <laughs> seven of ones what's going to happen with the seven of ones is a lot of things are going to happen at the same time and you have to be strong enough to take it to stand up for yourself and protect yourself i heard that too what are this person's intention what are this person's intentions with gemini we'll find out what are the person's intentions ace of swords they want to win you back that's pretty much um let's see they want to win you back, right? They're willing to sacrifice everything and anything in their power to get you back. We got the chariot as well. Cancer energy. They're coming in fast and they have like a straight goal, like a target, like I said before. The five of pentacles right here. We got the page of pentacles. The nine of pentacles. But it's not an easy choice, Gemini, because you're going to meet somebody else too. If you haven't already. They don't want you to be with somebody else. And this could be the reason why. Because they found out that you are dating somebody new. And if it's not now, it could happen down the road. They don't want you to forget about them. They don't want you. They don't want you with somebody else. It's like they figure it out and they find out that they want you. And they're like, I got to stop Gemini from moving on. Pretty much. That's pretty much what I got. This is coming in fast. Like they're coming in fast. So be ready. It's like coming in fast and with a lot of, a lot of like strength. Like this comeback, this situation is going to hit you like a wave. Like very strongly. With the five of pentacles, they're here begging you for forgiveness. Begging you for forgiveness. So it's like, please forgive me. Please forgive me. I'll do anything for you. This is the kind of vibes and energy I'm getting. Like they're just like asking you for forgiveness for what they did for what they cost and they're asking they if you see in their eyes they're wanting to in a way bribe you but not necessarily it's just like they're just here take this i'll do anything you want like they're in this in this energy so i'm getting they're begging and they'll do anything so you have the upper hand by the way and it's again the nine of pentacles and the four of cups right here you have the upper hand but you have to make the best decision for you because it seems to be that you met somebody else and now you're going to be in a love triangle huh. Huh. the sun and the eight of wands in every place so you didn't know or you were not expecting that the road for your happiness was going to take such a turn because everything was looking clearer everything was looking fine and you were not expecting this freaking switch you were not expecting this to turn the way it turned and you're like huh this is unexpected you're like hmm this is a twist so now who has who will have your heart the new person or the past and that's something that you have to make a choice like i said before this is a twist this is a twist holy moly gemini what a twist What is the biggest challenges Gemini will face in this situation? You don't want to break anybody's heart with the Five of Cups and the Beavers. You don't want to break your own heart. You want to make the right decision. You don't want to make a mistake. And you're afraid of making a mistake. But your heart is going to be confused as hell. You're going to be confused as hell. And you're like, what do I do? God help me. That's what you're going to say. 
everybody's going to be just like overwhelming you uh in a way it's gonna feel like attacking you because they want you to choose them and you are just so confused you are in a love triangle you are twisted and just like so confused and with the four of ones right here you got potential people that you like potential people that you can grow with and you're gonna be like please give me a break and they're not gonna give you that and with the ten of wands right here you're gonna be again you need to take a break a breather you will have to withdraw from both of them to make the best decision because again you have to take an action towards who is the person you're going to take and pick but you are just entangled and you're like afraid of making a, a, the bad a bad choice with the nine of wands right here because you have never been put in this such a situation yes you could always dream of being in a in a situation of like two people wanting you but you have actually never been in one and now that changed you are in that situation and with the nine of wands it's like it makes you feel good you're like mm, i knew it but at the same time it's very scary and it's a big respons responsibility because you're like oh my god i don't want to do that and with the devil and reverse capricorn energy um can we get one more card please thank you spirit and it's because you still have feelings for that past person it seems to be the sex and the sex attraction is there still and you're like oh my gosh bro your biggest freaking this challenge is your heart your heart is confused and you need to stand up for yourself and you need to set boundaries gemini because with the page of cups you can make a mistake on who you pick you cannot go by lust you gotta go by heart and you need to withdraw temperance here Sagittarius energy and justice Libra energy and find your center so even though that you're gonna feel you need to connect also with your <coughs> excuse me your ancestors and uh meditate do yoga but you need to withdraw from both of them because I feel that you're overwhelmed and your biggest biggest challenge is to make the right choice and you might not do that if you don't put boundaries and be like hey i need time i need to think about things truly you know what i'm trying to say so do not let these people overwhelm you into making the wrong the wrong mistake or the wrong answer just because you want to please them anything else i should know anything else i should know thank you spirit They said to not be afraid of the truth. To not be afraid of the truth. To not be afraid of making the decision that makes you happy. Your happiness, the sun, it's important. Don't make a decision based on their happiness. Make a decision based on your happiness. Who your heart desire? Who? Who is this person that they desire? And I see the devil a lot, Capricorn energy. This X person is in your energy a lot. It's in your energy a lot. And you don't want to admit that in the six of ones. You don't want to admit that. Look, the fact that you still have some sort of intent, not intention, but like connection and or emotions for this person embarrasses you. Because you know that what they did, right? But why are they in your energy so much? don't take a decision based on somebody else's happiness like i said before make it for you so why if you don't want your ex why is he or she in your energy so much and why making a decision when they are involved in it is so hard and so difficult because you know what you want gemini you know who you want you just don't want to admit it you know who you want you just need to embrace it two pentacles you can't hide it for too long you can't hide it at all i see a snake and the snake is with the <laughs> devil you see this snake snake you know who you want you know who you want 
and let's just stop pretending that you don't know you know who you want it just scares you but like i said before take a breather connect with nature connect with your ancestors listen to your heart because i'm not going to give you the answer you know the cards keeps showing up and i'm giving you the basic reading because i know you know you know who you want you're just afraid to admit it what is the final advice for gemini what is the final advice for gemini what waits more gemini It's telling me, right? We got the Six of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Cups, the Empress, the Ten of Cups, the King of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and overall energy, Six of Wands. We got fire, we got earth, we got water, we got air. We got a little bit of everything. The Lovers, Gemini Energy. The snake. You see the snake again? Is that not obvious to know, to tell you who you want? love is something that is telling me the cards are telling me love is something that not it doesn't always make sense science cannot always explain it law cannot always explain it and to the wrong people it's gonna seem insane to the wrong people it's gonna seem it makes no sense it's like it's stupid but it's not your heart is speaking through the cards And you are completely in love with this specific person. Although you are transformed, you're different. You have gained confidence. You have gained wisdom. But this person, whoever is coming in, come back, makes you happy. You need to find the answers. That you're so convinced to, su su to suppress. The Ace of Swords and I see a snake again. And a lot of people be like, oh, snakes are bad. No, look it up in the spiritual meaning. They're not that bad. Because just because you don't like a snake doesn't mean it's not, it's, it's bad. No, no, no. You just don't know enough. I used to think like snakes were bad, but look it up in the spiritual world. It's not always bad. Like I said before, education. But going back to this, you are just afraid of your intention. You're just afraid of what you really want to do. You need, you need, you need to say aloud, who brings the Ten of Cups in my life? Who is the person that brings happiness to my eyes? What is the person that I wouldn't mind spending an eternity with it? Because you're afraid of saying it out loud because of what people will think but trust me there's always a there's always a sacrifice for happiness and the only person who goes through that sacrifice is ourselves so what sacrifices are you willing to make and which ones are you not willing to make six of ones you want me to tell you who you want the person from the past Sadly, that's what you want. And if you tell me, I'm done, it's not for me, I didn't ask. This for whoever can re resonate with this. And maybe you should check the single ones once I post it. People say I'm mean, I'm straightforward. I don't go around with little things here and there. Trust me. It saves me a lot of time. But this is the person that you want. The black cheap. The bad boy, bad girl. The people who said... Look, you both want each other. You both love each other. Your relationship, I'm not going to lie, is weird as hell. It's not, as, it's not as healthy, but you guys love each other. And I'm not telling you what's best for you. You should know. But I can tell you what you really desire, what you really want, and it's this person. It's not healthy-ish. No, I'm not going to lie. It's, not, it's weird. I don't understand it much. I don't understand why you want them, but 
it's not for me to understand i'm not dating them it's you and in a way to perform you both bring chaos but also bring peace to each other and i feel nobody else makes you feel like that and nobody else understands you the way he does or she does in the same way and as the thing about love is not for everybody to approve it it's not for everybody to applaud it it's for you so i know who you want and it's that bad boy bad girl and i'm gonna say it for you because you know and yes it's weird your relationship with this person weird but guess what let's be weird together that's what i heard so we all know who you want but before you make a make your decision because you're going to be in between two people you need to retreat you need to go in solitude for a bit and clear your head so remember that everything in life has consequences make sure that the consequences you are taking or willing to go through are made consciously on a clear mind because at the end of the day you are responsible for your own decisions right so you make your decisions but make them count and make sure that you are willing to go through the consequences whatever they are okay so this is the final because you have the answer and you know it you have the answer and you know it so i'm not going to just try to convince you otherwise you know so figure it out so what is the messages for gemini the final messages we got full moon and it says take time to relax recharge and replenish your inner strength moon in capricorn put aside emotional concerns and focus on achieving or increasing financial security moon in leo it is important time to guard against being self-centered over opinionated over opinionated or pushy moon in, Pi moon in pisces beware of indulging in negative or, de or depressing tendencies hmm. and let me see what kind of initials pop them out let's see what are the initials of this person okay so we got q e e as an edwin u as an umbrella o as an oscar t as an tom c as an cat s as an sam r as an rose m as in michelle d as in dog v as in victor um this is the same by the way it's the same, it's the same. j as in george or jose and x as, x as in i don't know xavier so those are the potential initials and i'm going to say it once again q e as in edwin u as in umbrella o as in oscar s as in sam v as in victor r as in rose c as in cat t as in tom m as in michelle x as in xavier d as in dog and g as in jose or george or jason so this is officially the end of your reading thank you so much for your time please like and subscribe and if you haven't please follow my social medias and if you haven't please follow um join my membership and it's only a jello 99 and it gives you a lot of perks such as a badge and special emojis that you can use and of course every time you comment on my videos or lives your comments are highlighted as a priority and always always treated as such so once again thank you guys so much for the love and support i love you so much see you guys this week bye